Welcome to What's New in Avon. I'm Linda Wright, your Avon representative, and I'm here to share what's new with you in Campaign One in a virtual way. Campaign One features last minute gifts by price point, jewelry, and creating a holiday look for Zoom calls and celebrations. Let's get started. It's not too late. Avon has last minute gifts by price point. Gifts under $10. Holiday makeup applicator ornaments for $8. Ornament, Christmas tree, and wreath earrings, $9.99 a pair. Holiday studs for $6.99. Under $15, CZ cage necklace and the celestial bracelet set, both for $12.99. Under $20, the digital watch for $19.99. Men's fragrance gift sets for $16. Men's stainless steel cross ring for $19.99. Classic unisex slippers for $16.99 a pair. Under $25, women's fragrance gift sets for $23. Under $30, men's sporty watch for $24.99. Under $40, sterling silver initial necklaces for $36.99 and Believe Holiday sets for $38. Under $55, suede moccasin slippers for $51.99. Here's what's new in the jewelry department. The Big Link Necklace and Huggy Earring Set in Gold Tone and Silver Tone. A 16 inch chain with a 4 inch extender and pierced hoop earrings. Lots of bling for $29.99 a set. I'm wearing this set in gold tone. As you can see, it provides a glam look for the holidays. Everyday hoop earrings with a 2.5 inch diameter in silver tone and gold tone for $10.99 a pair. The modern chic layered necklace. It's a silver tone layered necklace with light black beads, 24 inches long with a three and a half inch extender for $29.99. The Sterling Silver Daniel Cut Statement Ring. This cut is named after Daniel Swarovski, founder of the Swarovski Company. This quarter inch CZ baguette was created as a part of the 125 year celebration of the company. It comes in sizes five through 10 for $69.99. Because of COVID-19, tis the season for Zoom family calls and celebrations. When you get on the calls, you want to look your best. This is the time to wear makeup and create your holiday look. I'm going to share with you what I do to prepare for my Zoom calls. I'm going to start by removing my jewelry because I don't want to get any makeup on it. I always start with clean prep skin. Another time I'll share my skincare routine with you, but for today, I'll focus on my makeup. I begin with a primer. Primers are the workhorses of makeup. They prep your skin for makeup, just like a paint primer preps the walls for paint. Makeup primers create a smooth canvas for your makeup. Primers also extend the life of your makeup, making it last longer. Primers are very lightweight, they absorb quickly, and you apply with fingers and hands to warm up the product. Press it in, especially around the lines. I'm using the VDL Lumi Layer, Lumi Layer Primer first. It's 70% hydrating essences for deep hydration and has golden pigments for a warmer glow. This is the VDL Luma Layer Primer Fresh. For foundation, I'm going to use the Magic's Tinted Moisturizer in Medium. I use the lighter shade for concealer, the light medium. This is, a part, this is part one of my foundation. I'm going to use the finishing powder to complete my foundation look in a bit. Taking about that much.
I'm going to spread it all over my face. And by putting it on with my hands, it warms it up. Sometimes after I put it on with my hands, I'll take a, a cushion puff and kind of pat it all in to make sure it's nice and even. This also helps to give the makeup a flawless look. Now I'm going to apply some of the light medium as a concealer around my eyes, under, on my eyelids, and up to my brows. A little goes a long way. There. This is part one of my foundation. I'm going to use a finishing powder to complete my foundation look in a bit. Next, brows. I'm going to use the Tattoo Station Brow Proof Pencil in dark gray. You look at this and you think that's a strange color. That's going to be too light, but it actually isn't. This is from the Face Shop. It's a two-in-one self-sharpening tool, and it creates a powdery light finish and a soft matte look. And it fills in the sparse areas of my brows. Let me show you. I start by brushing my brows so that I know where I want to put the pencil. And then I fill in See how that color just goes. This dark gray is a lovely color. And then I fill in on this side. And then I take the brush and shape the brows for the final look. So I can see if I need any filler there. There we go. And just a little bit more here. There. So now my brows are done. Here's a tip. For a more natural look, if you have light hair, you can go one shade darker for brows. And if you have dark hair, you can go one shade lighter for brows. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Glimmer Shadow Matte Sateen in Moon Glow. Matte Sateen is not a flat finish. It's kind of like eggshell paint and it gives dimension. This is a buildable color from sheer to full. It's water resistant and long lasting. So I'm just going to put a bit on my lids. And then I'm going to use my finger to warm it up and pat it in. It's, it's easy to apply. And you can get whatever depth or shade you want by the amount you put on. Maybe just a smidgen more. There. There we go. And then I'll finish it off with mascara for my lashes. I like to use the Love It First Lash Mascara here. I like the way it colors and conditions my lashes. Love it first lash.
I usually put more than one coat on. There. One more. I especially like to get the edges to give my eyes a wider look. For blush, I'm going to use the Moisture Cushion Blush in red. I like this color because it gives my cheeks a watercolor wash of color that nourishes and colors my cheeks. You just kind of pat it in with the cushion, with the uh, applicator. Now, if I stayed with the Magix foundation, liquid foundation, I would stop with just a lighter application. But because I'm gonna add finishing powder, I'm gonna make my color a little deeper so that when I add the powder, the blush will come out looking just right. Just a little more on this side here. There. All right. Next, I'm going to use the Magix Dust Finishing Powder in Translucent Medium Deep. I like to apply it with a powder brush, and it gives my skin a semi-matte finish. And you can see how the blush will come through just right when I apply this powder. I'm going to shake off my brush here. There. This also helps to blend in my concealing foundation. And you can see the blush comes out just about right now. There. Make sure I come down around the chin line. A little bit here, a little bit here. I like to blend lipstick colors and finishes to create my lip look. So today I'm going to use Birthday Balm. And this is a lip crayon, crayon in fine wine and flat velvet lipstick in Darjeeling Red. So I'm going to put the matte finish on first and then add a little glow with an extra moisture with the birthday bomb. The Darjeeling red gives me the burst of red that I love. And then I'll add a little bit of birthday bomb and fine wine. And that gives me a little more moisture and a little more glow. Last step, my finishing spray. It's a setting spray. I use the Glow Moist Fix and Moist to give my skin extra hydration glow and to set my makeup. And it's an ultra fine mist that absorbs and dries quickly and it keeps my makeup smudge proof and looking fresh. It's non-greasy, non-sticky, and has a sheer formula. The spray is also good for setting your makeup before you wear your mask because it keeps your makeup on your face, not your mask. That's it. The only thing left to do now is to put on my holiday jewelry. Back in place. Here's a tip also. 
bring your special beverage to the party. Tea, hot chocolate, eggnog, or sparkling juice for toasting special events. Cheers! You can shop the traditional Campaign One brochure, which you receive from us, or the virtual catalog on our e-store at www.youravon.com slash Happy shopping and cheers!